What do we have today? Today we have the Steve TV show, and we have the top three dating mistakes that women make. Gosh, see if I'm number one and two on this list, Slungy. <laughs> We're not uploading it. <laughs> We're doing it either way. Now let's go. It's day two of our premiere event. You mean ladies, number two? Uh, now it's time to take on what men really think of you on social media. <laughs> and here to break down the top three digital dating mistakes every woman is making from the Smart Dating Academy is Slongy and Stu for your viewing pleasure. That's why we're here fans to break this down for you. Is Bella Gante. Welcome, Hi, Bella. Bella. How are you? I'm good. How are you? So, Bella, so how did we come up with these mistakes? So, we surveyed the 2,000 lovely gentlemen in this audience to get their... Does that mean there's like another 2,000 ugly gentlemen in the audience though? We didn't survey them because they're too ugly to... Her responses straight from the horse's mouth about the digital mistakes women are making in social media. Why are we talking about horse mouths? Well, you get it from the house of the mar. Mar from the house. <laughs> Mouse horse. Starting with number three. You want the lead, number six. <laughs> yeah. Why do you want the lead, number six? But this is a very modern thing, Slongy. Like, see, when, when I was young, uh, see if someone wanted a picture of you, you had to have, like, a scanner, and there was only, like, maybe ten pictures of you in existence, and you had to go get the physical picture, put it on a scanner, and then hope that your internet connection didn't stop whilst you're uploading the picture. <laughs> <laughs> women post so many selfies. Look, women are judged much more on their physical appearance than men are, right? So we feel like when we go out, we've got our hair. So I feel like this might be true. No, 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 no. <laughs> that was our attempt to check out who did the best, Sidious. Maybe the link no. in the description. No. Uh, Actually, so here, Sluggy, Sluggy, Sluggy. So this is about dating. So that be, we'll just say one man, one woman. So. That means the man is judging the woman based on her looks, but the woman is not judging the man. And I see what is complete nice. non. We are slung. We passed absurd. Bella Gandhi, you're off the list on the Smart Dating Academy list of Smart Dating Academy. You just put it in stupid. Yeah, we're going stupid on this slung. We don't bust it out very often. We normally skip to insane, but this is just stupid. We're done. Our makeup on. We're looking cute. We want to. Snap, 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 and post those photos, right? Right, okay. That's because they're advertising for the next guy. <laughs> it's not, it's not good to look good for this guy's like, hey, this one might not work out. Yeah, make sure there's look. You know, Coca-Cola sells, sells a lot of their drink because they do lots of adverts, and I think the excessive selfies are because the girls are advertising to a greater audience. So here's the deal, though. Yahoo reported that we took over one trillion selfies last year. One trillion. We did? Like we did, Slunky? That's a lot. I feel like they might be referring to the woman. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought she was speaking to us directly, like we did. Sorry, I, I clearly lost I track there. And Cosmo also reported that the more selfies that we post, and more importantly, when we're updating our cover photos too frequently, we look like we have narcissistic personality disorder. Because you do. <laughs> I was gonna say absurd, but you know what? This ain't. This is either silly or just correct. Let's move on to the second biggest digital dating mistake: overly dramatic up. Fact check. Truth. I don't have much social media, but I still know this. It's true. This is not silly. It's correct. Explain the overly dramatic updates and why women do it. Women like to express their emotions a lot more than men do. It's not that we feel more, we just like to express them more. And Well, that seems a little sexist, Ms. Gandhi. That seems a little sexist. Maybe, maybe we like to do it as well. We just don't know how. And studies show that we do a lot more of this on social media. So when we're posting things like worst period day period ever. With it's because you never finished learning how grammar and spelling works. That's no, this is a this is somewhere from absurd to stupid, right? Yeah, th I find this insulting, and I believe the one thing that if it is insulting, then we consider it stupid, right? 
it's ever stupider and sin. Yeah. It's Maybe absurd. Marks and ten emojis next to that. It doesn't read well. It makes us look emotionally unhinged. Ladies, look, I, I... Doesn't make you look emotionally unhinged. It makes it look like you've never taken second grade English. And emotionally unhinged with that. I mean, I think they're all emotionally unhinged. But some of them pass second grade English. Not all of them, clearly. <laughs> Oh, hey, none of y'all are you know, really? 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 Really, ladies? So now you're going to play me like this? <laughs> having an honest conversation up to now, and now nobody knows where the damn emoji button is. Smiley okay. face. All right. <laughs> All right, it's time to reveal the number one digital dating mistake that women... What do you think it is? Quick answer. Don't have time to think. Uh, um, I am. Uh, uh, you say time. Well, fans, you know, if you guys haven't hit the subscribe button, you made it this far, make sure to check that out. Bill Slongi is not laughing at my commentary whilst I'm space filling for him. If we had a script writer, we wouldn't even follow the script, so good luck trying to get us to hire you. Okay, Slongi, give me your answer. What do you think number one, number one mistake is going to be? Falling for tricks made by men, like catfishing. I don't know great. social media, so this is my best guess. I am going to say Slonky's guess is great. I Probably am... wrong, but still great. Let's find out. Going public. Fact check. True. With an argument. <laughs> we would stand up, we would turn and hit the table and the camera would shake, so... Okay, why do men hate that? Maybe you did something that's wrong, but why do men hate that? Because men value loyalty. Yes, we do. And hopefully women value it as well. So, men value loyalty, so if you take your fight public to social media, then what is that? That's kind of the ultimate Jessica, betrayal to a man. Carol. Right, men want to settle disputes. One Carol. How about you play the video game with him and you can talk on, like, TeamSpeak or Xbox And even if you don't like video or... games, maybe just find a way to make, make it into a conversation? Absolutely. Why is it yeah. Carol's... Oh, goodness. I believe Carol. We only have one tweet from her. Maybe she's a little entitled. You're not that pretty, Carol. You look like a little bluebird. That's the Twitter logo. Oh, is that what that is? I thought that was her picture. She took too many selfies. <laughs> on one, me and you, behind closed doors, let's talk about this. But if we take it to Facebook, we take it to Twitter, that relationship is over. The wheels have come off. Well, I will give, let me, let me, let me give these women up in here a round of applause because they're very smart women. You know, these are not, these are... They are? So they, there we go again on this TV show where we judge people based on their looks. Like, how do we tell... Maybe, as long as they, I mean, I don't think they look dumb, but how do we know they're smart? Very bright we don't. They know what to admit to when then again, we also don't have all the information. I bet you, I think I understand it, Slongy. Steve Harvey show does an IQ test to get onto the stage, and that's how we know they're intelligent women. We'd be the whole stage then, except we're not women. We would, we'd look kind of at a place there, I think. Yeah. I mean, I've got the Steve Harvey haircut going on, so maybe I'd be okay if I had to see up front. You don't got the mustache, though. I could grow that in a day. Nah. Now, on Two days, national maybe. TV, maybe. <laughs> 2,000 humps sitting out here, they're not going to say, hey, I post emojis. Hey, I take fights publicly. They're not going to do that. So in that regard, ladies, you've actually taken a page out of manhood, and congratulations. <laughs> Hey, listen, folks, uh, I, I, I want to thank you, Bella. I think this was pretty, pretty helpful for us. I mean, I'm going to give us some content. Slongy, I don't know that this helped us at all. <laughs> I like smart, yeah. mature women, and we got a lot of them sitting up here. Today. Thank you very much. Most of them didn't say anything. <laughs> so it's smart, mature women. So that means the opposite is dumb young men. Much. So, most young men? Yeah, I mean, most young people, and most they're people. Just mo they're just most people. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely <laughs> most people's language. Um, but, you know... Um, Sorry to the people who actually are intelligent. And we are not apologizing to the people who are too dumb to understand we just called you dumb. 
because you're dumb and you don't understand it. However, the people who are intelligent can laugh along with us, and I believe the terms of service doesn't have dumb on it. <laughs> we're not we're not making fun of anyone protected by the terms of service. Okay. We're just here to entertain the fans and laugh at the absurdities of people who don't know how the English language works. And then what do we tell the fans after that, Slongy? I forget. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, and goodbye, everybody!